Hello everyone and welcome back to Slay the Spire Dailies today. We are doing a very early daily. Look at this. One and a half hours in. Very high points today. Defect all star lethality hoarder. So we're getting 15 colorless cards in there because of hoarder and all star. We do have lethality so hits are great. And we have hoarder which means we get mind blast and we win the game. Let's see if that happens. Three Panache, three Jack of All Trades, three Deep Left, three Enlightenment, three Thinking Ahead. I think this is excellent. Especially the Panaches with that many zero costing cards are going to be great. One Elite, two Elites. So we got two Elites. Probably the most question mark is this, this way. There's an early shop. Is that worth it? Mine Blast is going to cost 100. I think it is worth it trying to go for the shop. Because if we f we get we get some gold here and then Sweet Panache. Oh my goodness. Going to be able to trigger this again. So many zero costing cards, are you kidding me? So, I like rebound. Oh, I thought this was my blast for a second. I was like, <gasps> then it was only Flash of Steel. I think that's still perfectly fine. It's a free attack, we have lethality, so it's six damage. Now, Enlightenment is a bit shit, I would say. Uh, this way is the way to go for the double elites. Yeah. Okay. So, more attacks. Do I take Hologram? I think I do. Even though we have the deep breath, so reshuffling is a possibility. Infinite deep breath. Two more cards. Gonna put this back on top. Play strike and play deep breath. Play enlightenment. Damn. I guess I did some misplays there. Could have probably at least tried to block maybe instead of attacking. Hologram allows us to replay cards. I'm okay with this. Now, smithing a single card does not seem like a good plan. But... I will get Zap. So many basically free cards. Hologram isn't worth it right now. Now do I want to think in the head and he's gaining two more strength? And we're taking 21. Terrible. Almost screwed this up. Whenever you uh, play a power channel one lightning, and I could upgrade them later on, that could be fantastic. I'd rather take white noise probably. Maybe upgrading dual cast was better here. I still have no idea the direction we're going. I want to pick a card every single time though. Getting cursed is terrible. Yidlang will put us on full HP. 
Max HP would probably have been better. I'm pretty sure it would have been better. This is a good one. We'll be thinking ahead, reshuffling, drawing a different card. Another power self field, I like it. Thinking ahead again. Put rebound back on top, play dual cast. Aim down to 40. Now with rebound we will get there. Play this first. Oh, the panache got him. Very nice. So I like Melter. I think we do need some blocks though. Remove a card from our deck. Doesn't seem very good. Should have rebounded that. That was terrible. I think we can reshuffle this. Reshuffle this. Finally the panache. Two blocks and we're blocking everything. I'm gonna take the Essence of Steel, the Leap and a Strike. Maybe this is better than the boss. Yeah, the, the, the plated armor will get shredded if we get hit by the boss there. I shouldn't have attacked him. I forgot we got Panache going. So I'm doing quite a lot of terrible, terrible misplays. I could have finished this if I hit him. Unseizing top is a very interesting thing to do. Because we have so many zero cost cards and Barely any one cost cards. I mean, I added one cost cards in the end. So I kind of ruined Unseizing Top. We could have had the greatest Unseizing Top you've ever seen. If we gain additional energy for reshuffling, for example. Oh, goodness. 918. I think there was an okay play right there. Enlightenment is pretty bad still. And there's the panache trigger. Force field can be free as well. Right now it's stopping unceasing top, but it can be free as later on if we play enough powers. The question is how much do we want to rely on unceasing top? I guess having six leap in our deck makes it hard for us to rely on that. So I'd rather, I think, take three cards. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed in us taking so many one cost cards. Can I hologram something? Okay. Not great at all. So, if I play rebound now, we will not get there. Because it's doing 11 damage plus 3 here, I think I have to hologram deep breath and hope to draw into something. Because this is gonna hurt terribly. What is it then I want to draw here? I don't know. That's a good start. Oh, I could have had dual cast. Okay, what is the plan here? 
9 damage. We're doing 3 right now. And I don't think any of these skills will give me additional damage immediately. So probably thinking ahead, trying to draw an attack. Okay, trying to draw an attack. Okay, there we go. We did it. Holy crap. <laughs> that wasn't easy. We got to maximum block again. It's so hard getting the perfects here. Twenty-three, he's attacking for twenty-two, so I cannot hit him. Okay, let's see. Finally. And now perfect. Uh, I can still get draw three cards, no I can't. Okay, I think the next cycle we gotta defend here and then we we good to go. This is 12 block, so I'm not gonna attack for the rebound. I'm just gonna keep my 12 block. Now I need 22 block. And I can't do it. No! Crap! I, any single block card will allow us to draw cards with Flash of Steel, but this is... We're taking Reflect damage here, and that's losing us the perfect. The one, a single block and we would have had it. I'm still a bit mad about that to be honest. Do I want to hyper beam? I probably do. Channel 1 Plasma, the additional energy is going to be great. Is it better than Sozu? We don't have very many channel cards, so channel 1 Plasma, I think that's actually we can use potions with that. Potions are sometimes great. I'm still disappointed in that, that that perfect loss. I think we had a good chance there. Three leads, a lot of question marks. Especially with Druzu Bracer, they want to go for as many question marks as possible. This is a terrifying hand. And then we take 20 damage, no, 17 damage. Unseizing top, let's go. Maybe we can trigger Panache still. Oh, yeah, give me more of that. More free cards, please. No. We could have healed. Oh, I'm gonna take Scrape. I'm so gonna take Scrape, even though it's not free. Yeah, we're fighting here. Of course we're fighting here. Okay. We're rebound Scrape. Flash of Steel is drawn scrape again. Get some free cards. Makes strike free. Guess we want to scrape again. Draw two cards. Put one back on top. Chill gives us energy back. I want to hologram and scrape again. Where's my panache at? Where's the panaches at? Not here apparently. We played way too many cards here. And I'm loving it.
What is the plan here? Two strikes, kill him. Leap and if yeah, I think we want to kill this guy. Take four. Okay. You know what? Yeah? So we've gotten f all in the... I think we can afford this. All in on the... Scrape. Zero cost deck. So stuff that's not costing zero... I don't really need it. Especially defense. They're terrible. Okay, they're less terrible now. But I probably still want to remove him. Starting with Scrape. Could get Hyper Beam here. That's a good one. There's Panache. Some Orb Slots. Hologram into Scrape. One off another panache. Ah, that's unfortunate. Put Zap back on top. We can draw it with Scrape. On the hologram, the Scrape back. It's apparently just not happening. Zero cost. Nothing here is cost zero. So I'm passing on this. Okay, scrape. Flash of steel. Hit. Oh, I think in head first. There's another scrape, so I'm putting a free card on top because we're drawing this with scrape. Finally. This is giving us a lot of block and a lot of energy. I want to hologram the scrape again. Thinking ahead. Anything back on top. Flash of Steel, thinking ahead. A free card on top, so we can play Scrape. Swift Strike, Deep Breath. Panesh doing work? <laughs> that was fun. And then we can do this. Three attacks, one strength. That's so good. Is it okay for me to take a card here? Rebound is our best attack. We've upgraded. I guess Scrape is our best attack. Feels bad skipping a card here, but I want to... I feel like we already have too many cards. By a long shot. So defend is... Actually useful. This to this, play deep breath, jack of all trades, gives me an artifact, can play a card. Can I hologram a deep breath maybe? If I hit him t three times though, I think that's better. Interrupts him. Oh, I can't play leap anymore, I miscalculated. So we're taking two here. Hyperbeam, eh? Scrape is a very good draw. Hyperbeam is cheaper now. More focus. Oh. The focus up. Counteracts the hyperbeam drawback. And here we go. Claws, the perfect card. It's a card that costs zero. It's an attack for shurikens. It's all that I ever wanted. Okay, draw, redraw. Okay, we got a hit here. We got a hit here. We got a redraw. 
So you can defend. Can to use this? And then we play Swift Strike, Defend, Leap is better than Defend, 21, he's attack at 4, 18, so we already blocked everything here, which means I'm going to take the Swift Strike. We can draw some zero cost cards maybe? Ah, that is the end. Buffer is nice. Draw on some cards and put Leap back on top. Reshuffle. Flash of Steel. Claw. Flash of Steel. Thinking ahead. Strike back on top. Play Scrape. Claw. Hologram. Claw. Hologram. Claw. Not a zero cost card, sadly. What is even happening? Completely... Ah, uh, boot is amazing, I think. Oh, curse search might be good. Gaining artifact can be quite strong. Still, I'm only taking zero cost cards, I think. Another strength up, eh? I don't want to get cursed, and especially not with normality, but also not with injury. Curses would be horrendous for us, so I'm leaving. If I get Necronomicon, I'm not gonna take it, right? Because the curse stops us. It helps us double up on Hyperbeam, which is amazing, but other than that, that's not great. The putting a random card in our deck, I guess the getting a random power would be worth it. Choose one of three cards. Yeah, okay, let's take it. What's the worst that could happen? Oh! Okay, play power. Play this, play this. We got enough block. And all for one, eh? You're trying to kill me, right? Rebound. Hologram. I, sh I didn't want to... Wait a second. Oh. Can I channel another anything? I think I gotta play Scrape. Okay. We got there. Shovel is great. This feels so bad not taking these cards, which are clearly better than the cards in our deck right now. I'm gonna artifact portion this guy, by the way. Because getting Snake Eye here is death. It's gonna be impossible for us to do anything. Oh, he's already dead. You know what? I'm gonna take Glacier. Obtaining 5 apparitions, losing half of our HP. Highly doubt. We would have gotten 9 apparitions though. It makes it better again. We need to rest. I'm still having doubts. We could be Hyper Beam still. So I will scrape, see if we get something. Come on. Can we hologram something? Yeah, the flesh of steel, I guess. That's the stuff I want to see. Two panaches, put Glacier back on top for next turn. And we take buffer in case we get we can we could buffer the hyper beam later on. Jack of all trades, finesse, finesse, enlighten. 
we gotta play everything anyways. Dual cast, 6 energy. Let's go on seizing top. We're gonna play so many cards. We, uh, we might win this, right this turn. Which actually, which actually actually makes our failure to... Perfect the, the first boss even worse. Because this was beautiful. We're gonna take Core Surge now. Is Bice Cognition good enough? Do I want to take any of these? Like, Core Surge is a great attack. And Bias Cognition is so strong if we only play a few turns and we get the... Like, we can use the focus. I think that's good enough. No, 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 no. Not Sneko Eye. Never in a million years. We could take Philosopher's Stone. The enemies would have 5 strength up. Don't think that's worth it. So we take Astrolabe. And we get rid of cards I regret taking which means maybe the rebounds they're great with claw though uh, defend plus is still worse than leap so it's probably defend plus is right glacier is great hyperbeam is great scrape is amazing Oh, there was a zero cost card in there. We got Chaos, Bias Cognition, Overload. Bias, eight, six Bias Cognition for uh, Chaos, this is nice. And Overload drawn as even more cards. Not really useful because it puts Burn in our deck, so I don't think we will play it much. Still, and we're not playing against the Time Lord. I just, I, I kept an eye on that. I was like, oh no, we're losing against the Time Lord. Uh, two enemies. A lot of question marks and an early shop. That's our way to victory. I guess we take this. This card pile is empty. We can take three damage and kill two of them. We could leap and bias cognition. And take no damage so far. See what happens here. Okay, apotheosis is disgusting. Gonna kill him with Banash. Free attack or reinforced body? Free attack. Reinforced body is ending the unceasing top, and I feel like trying to play with the unceasing top is a good thing. Make our first turn better, make the subsequent turns better. More claws were great. Fairy in a bottle. Anthropic brooch instead of this. Yeah, I think anthropic brooch is potion is great. Fairy in a bottle is our security. By the way, the burns in here are going to be terrible. I shouldn't have played Overclock. And I would have loved more awful ones. Of course, we should have vulnerable to him first. Okay, we're doing... Oh, more claws, yes. 
gonna don the red mask and collect my gold. We will dig. Oh my goodness, come on, be a shop. We will fight for the relic. No spiky boys is nice. Keeping this in here. Claw, strike, panache. Can we trigger panache? No. And we get a scrape. That's pretty bad. That's a free attack. Buffer would have been better though since Orb Walker is only taken with single attacks. So I guess I screwed that up. Let's see what we can hologram. A scrape. That's perfectly worth it. You know what? Oh, I could have... Let's tr try this again. No. 50-50? Perfect. That was lucky. I miscalculated my energy, to be honest. I think I'm going to take the steroid potion, if we get a strong turn. Ooh, another energy. Okay, Smiling Mask is really not that great. Two Orb Walkers! Sucks to be you. Because I'm going to Hyper Beam, I'm going to Hyper Beam, and then I'm going to Hologram, and then I'm going to Hyper Beam. Have you ever been beamed so hard? Oh my goodness. We have kunai and we have shuriken. And it's gonna trigger quite often with all our zero costing attacks and the Yan seizing top. I can see why the scores could be high here. And then we draw Hyper Beam, yeah, I know. It's okay though. Leap, Claw, Claw. Oh, so many Claws is great! The scaling is hilarious. Could I gain another shop, please? We have so much gold. Okay. Scrape. Claw, scrape, chill, enlighten, deep breath, rebound, zap. Guess we gotta overclock at some point. Glacier, strike, enlighten, three energy left. Do I wanna play a power first or do I wanna reboot immediately? I think rebooting immediately is fine. We are blocking enough already. I'm gonna overclock first. Twelve damage, channeling two random orbs. I like the idea of playing another chaos here. And we did channel plasma at the end. Force field could be interesting. This is where we need a lot of block. We have the boot, never mind, we can just strike straight straight through his intangibility because we're always dealing five damage. Suck it. And we're losing our Full HP, the runic dodecahedron is gone. I 
That is unfortunate. Oh, more claws. Fight a boss from Act 1? Oh. Give me that. We're gonna fight a boss on Act 1. We, we'll get the perfect, beyond perfect, by fighting three different bosses. You know what we're gonna do? Let's reboot this. Claw is... Get defense, power up, strike. Okay, immediately to the hyper beam. Dealt 100 to it. He's attacking for 60. Where? Could you maybe not? No, honestly, though. What the hell is this? Oh. Oh. Even though we got the hexagos, we still did it. Melter is not good enough. We have to rest. We have no healing, no. So we gotta rest for the dodecahedron. I need the extra energy. It's gonna be valuable with the unceasing top. I need a good start here, please. Two claws is pretty good. Am I gonna attack the cultists or hope for... I guess the plan is open for... Panaceous to do the trick for me. Ah. Put this back on top, play hologram, play scrape, hit him with the scrape, hit him with the flash of steel, hit him with the flash of steel, deep breath this. Guess we're gonna deep breath again. Draw on more cards. I could have steroid potioned here. If we get a good hand, I'll steroid potion here. Potion here. Yeah, well, this is this seems like a decent hand for this kind of game. Should probably kill the cultists first, though. Twenty-four. We're blocking twenty-four. That's completely fine. Yeah. Scrape seems like the best card in this. So good. I'm gonna immediately redraw it. Okay, so this might be not great at all because he has 8 power 46. That's a big attack. This is free. How can we get that much block? Question is can we get that much block? 46 block. We have zero right now. I guess if we get to draw cards, we could get there. This is how much focus do we have? Plus three, so they are blocking five each. I could hologram glacier. Nah, I want to draw more cards, actually, I think. Because this is 16 plus 10. 26 plus 5, I need 15 block. This is only... This is 16 block, I can block everything here, right? 16, 30. 
42 plus 5. Okay. I'm surprised. I guess the all the dexterity up is doing some good work. Might as well have drunk this already. Okay. I'm gonna overclock this. Let's see, is it taken for 24? This is good enough. No scrape. Why? Reprogram is great because we can see what we'll draw and remove the cards I don't want. For example, here, I don't think these are quite very good. And do I want to reboot? I guess it's okay. Ah, kill him with a claw. Our infinite scaling deck. That was beautiful. And we got our three perfect enemies. We did get a lot of points. For four bosses slain, 500 points. We got a beyond perfect because we got three of these perfect. That last question mark was so crucial. It gave us so many points. 1500 seems like a very decent score so far. Question: The thing is, we are, we're not that far in. Huh? Top 100 maybe? Top 50? Two hours in? Top 50? I guess it's okay. Could go better of course, but I like that. That was fun. That fighting a boss in additional time is so ridiculously strong in dailies, points wise. You get so many points of fighting a fourth boss. Whew. And it was a fun deck, that, that with the kunai shuriken and the infinite top and a zero cost attacks, that was fun. I hope you guys had fun as well. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next episode.